Hello hacksters and welcome to another tech highlight. Today we're taking a look at Avnet's ZU Board 1CG and we're gonna run through some exercises from the Getting Started Guide. Featuring the AMD Zinc Ultrascale Plus ZU 1CG MPSOC, the ZU Board 1CG is an approachable platform for those interested in exploring the AMD Zinc Ultrascale Plus MPSOC architecture, enabling applications like advanced driver assistance systems, person detection, and predictive maintenance. This board was created as a low-cost entry point for the FPGA Curious. Along with its built-in temperature and pressure sensors, programmable RGB LEDs and user inputs, and onboard JTAG and UART debug interfaces, the ZU Board 1CG also sports numerous peripheral options. With this board, you have plenty of flexibility with 69 programmable logic IOs, 18 PS multiplexed IO, and four ZU Plus PS GTR transceivers thanks to three Samtec expansion connectors and a microbus socket, tapping into Microelectronica's vast array of solderless modules. You can also rely on a battery-backed RTC and can boot from either 256MB of QSPY flash or a microSD card. The ZU Board 1CG is priced at $159 and is well suited to prototyping applications like driver assistance systems, autonomous robots, room monitoring with sensor fusion, and medical imaging. Check out this demo, which uses the ZU Board 1CG with Avnet's dual camera high-speed I.O. module, plus another high-speed module for HD video and EMMC storage. Let's start a little simpler and explore an example free RTOS design that's stored in the QSPY when you receive the board. As the name implies, free RTOS is a free open-source real-time operating system for microcontrollers and small microprocessors with a growing number of IoT libraries available. If you run into any issues, you can restore the factory settings using this guide. Time to put the board through its paces. We'll be following the Getting Started guide that's linked from the product page, as well as on a card inside the packaging. Through a quick example, we'll get familiar with using the main components on the board. First, make sure you have the extra items listed here. The tutorial uses Windows with TerraTerm and a browser, but I'm going to use a Mac, because that's my main system, and either will work, which is refreshing. Plug in the board over micro USB. Then check the boot mode switch settings as described in the Getting Started guide, which should be set to on, off, on, on. If that looks good, connect the power adapter and watch for these LEDs to illuminate. Once D22 is steady, indicating that the voltage in is stable, press the power switch to turn it on. If the green LED D23 turns on, things are looking good. And if your micro USB cable is connected, the orange LED D24 should turn on as well. Now, provide the board with a good connection to the internet, on the same network as your primary computer. It's best to use an external ethernet source. If you choose to share with your computer, you'll have to reconfigure your setup as described later in the guide. Also, make sure there aren't any VPNs or firewalls active that could block access. Now, set up a serial connection on the port your machine is assigned to the ZU Board 1CG, and set everything else as shown in this diagram. On my Mac, I'm launching iTerm and using ls slash dev slash tty dot star to find the assigned port. I take the highest numbered one and open a screen session with baud rate 115-200. Once that's dialed in, push reset and sit back as your board boots up. At the end of the sequence, it will fire up a server on port 80, and you'll see an IP address that you can copy into your browser to access the free RTOS GUI. If you run into any trouble, check the tips to make sure your board and computer will be able to communicate over the network. From here, you can play around with different sensors and inputs and see the results live in your browser, as well as controlling the user-accessible LEDs. Try putting your hand over the temperature sensor, flipping the dip switches, and turning the LEDs on and off. Once you're done exploring, press and hold the power switch for 10 seconds to turn it off, or simply unplug the USB-C cable to remove power. From here, you can explore the AMD Vivado design suite, as described more fully in the Getting Started guide. That about does it for our quick tour. Whether you're looking to design a product with the ZU 1CG, or just get comfortable with FPGAs, this is a reasonably priced board to start with. The many expansion ports and built-in interface options give you a lot to play with, and the software examples provide a secure foothold for newcomers. Hack on.